uh, along with this automatic insights and custom insights, we also have multiple predictive metrics available in GA4, which allows us to predict our revenue, allows us to identify users who would be uh, not, returning, not returning to the website in the coming weeks or months, which allows us to decide upon your retargeting audience segment. You, you could also uh, identify users who are more likely to convert or more likely to make a purchase. marketing musings last year after ga4 was released in the beta phase we talked about what the platform is to offer many brands have upgraded to ga4 and today we have with us atharva and akshay analyst at mogul Softy, and they are going to walk us through brand new features of ga4 ever since its release so hi atharva and akshay thank you for joining us on this podcast and so let's begin with briefly understanding ga4 and the need for it right so please carry on all right. So GA4 in a nutshell is the latest version of Google Analytics and is a successor of Universal Analytics. Earlier, GA4 in its beta phase used to be known as Appless Web Property. And coming to the need of GA4, why do we need it? So in the past, if you would like to track your website's data, website usage data, you'd, you'd need to create a property, GA property, which is meant for websites. And if you want to track your app usage data, you'll have to create a new view called Google Analytics for Firebase property. And it's very difficult to, you know, unify data from your website and app. And with these days, businesses using apps and web websites simultaneously, you know, it's very important, very important to track your customer journey, customer's engagement, their purchase journey across the devices, across domains. And with the advent of GA4, it's totally possible. It it's allows a unified reporting, whereas in a single property, you could get data from your both website, app, and multiple devices users would be using. And it uses a totally new measurement model called event plus parameter model. So even, even, if, even if a business or a brand does not have an app, it's totally recommended to use GA4. As uh, you know, there are many advanced features GA4 allows, which we will be discussing in the uh, later part of the session. And of course, uh, one one more reason to migrate to GA4, use GA4 is all the future features will be developed and deployed only for GA4, and Universal Analytics would be receiving only maintenance updates. It, it pretty much looks like it's a default migration that people can't really do away with. And uh, thanks for giving us the description in short. I think uh, for all the audiences who are out there, if you want to check out, you know, the detailed version of the evolution and the history of the GA4, the previous properties, you can check out to our previous video, which must be on the corner of the screen somewhere. I think moving forward, I think um, on the contrary, there are still some brands who are still using universal analytics, maybe because they are not really aware of the upgrade yet or the awesome tracking capabilities and the audience insight capabilities that GA provides. Um, Akshay, can you help us understand, you know, uh, why? Just walk us deta in a detailed manner through why should people consider making this, che this change, this switch, and how is it really going to be beneficial for brands? Right. So there are probably two reasons why people are still using UA or Universal Analytics. They're not aware of the advanced features and capabilities of GA4. And two, they're not aware of switching uh, switching to GA4. So switching to GA4, talking about switching, it's very easy. If you're using Universal Analytics and you would like to collect your data parallelly in a GA4 property, all you need to go, do is go to your admin section and your property settings. Just uh, click on uh, set up GA4 assistant and just follow the instructions. And you need not uh, re-tag your website as well if you are using uh, gtag.js library. But if your website is tagged with analytics.js, then you'll have to re-tag your website. And if, if at all uh, you are starting new and you are creating a new account and new property, by default, GA4 property is created. So switching is not at all an issue. It's very easy thing. It's very seamless. And talking, talking about the capabilities of uh, GA4, there are few areas which set GA4 apart. So the most important feature being GA4 is built with machine learning at its core. So GA4 uncovers automatic, in, automatic insights, you know, which allows us to optimize your marketing activities. We have this automatic insights, which detects anomalies, emerging trends and automatically notifies you. We also have an option to set up custom insights where we define conditions, which detect changes on the data in your account. 
and one, once these conditions are triggered these insights are automatically added to your insights dashboard of course ga4 is uh, the users these days are more concerned about their privacy and ga4 is more privacy centric so if uh, with this consent mode in ga4 you could adjust how your google tags behave based upon the consent status of the end user and coming back to the machine learning capabilities of ga4 uh, along with this automatic insights and custom insights we also have multiple predictive metrics available in ga4 which allows us to predict our revenue allows us to identify users who would be uh, not returning not returning to the website in a coming weeks or months which allows us to decide upon your retargeting audience segment you, you could also uh, identify users who are more likely to convert or more likely to make a purchase so these are some uh, some areas where ga4 sets apart and also there are uh, many many capabilities and many other features like uh, ga4 is more scalable and it uh, you know works with or with or, with or without cookies and ga4 also provides a complete understanding of user journey bringing data across app and website it also helps us in better understanding of total customer life cycle starting from acquisition to retention also there are many many other interesting capabilities like uh, you know you could all edit your events in the ui itself without even uh, you know touching or changing your implementation code a uh, cross domain tracking can also be set up uh, on the ui itself which with universal analytics was not possible and it it makes uh, everything very uh, easy for a marketer to use without uh, without having a much uh, tech knowledge or tech expertise we we also have new e-commerce reporting uh, available in ga4 which is totally different from ua which can be customized and we also have multiple templated reports available in the analytics hub section of the ga4 which earlier used to be only ga360 feature so these are some of the features which you know uh, are, are very new and very beneficial for a marketer for making their business decisions and optimizing their marketing activities all the brand new capabilities really sound top notch i think the the switch also seems pretty intuitive right so all the ai powered insights all the holistic tracking unified dashboarding all seems like a few clicks away so um i i'm sure this will definitely encourage some of the brands to you know walk over the bridge and make this step up happen for them and uh, moving on i think certainly the next item on the agenda is really interesting because it's associated with free data integration and uh, people who have been using ga4 for some time now know that the uh, big query linking is proving to be such a boon for data scientists and overall data analysts out there so if you can tell a little more about you know what does this really mean you know the data export uh, to big query really mean and how could brands make the most out of it exactly so this is one of the features many marketers have been waiting for so the big query integration which enables you to perform your advanced analytics build your uh, analytical models over over the, uh, on the top of the data that's available uh, in ga so yeah it's totally free all you need to do is you move on to your uh, admin setting in the pro- in the product link- linking section just click on big query linking and you know you could directly select the project uh, big query project and then configure the setting review and submit it wouldn't take you more than 5 minutes to link big query to uh, your ga4 and there are many use cases which are not possible using uh, the available ga4 ui which uh, the insights you could make out of uh, the big query the advanced models you could build or big query could we discuss one of those use cases here if um, atharva or akshay and if you want to take it up hey hi vishali hi akshay so uh, when we talk about use case and as akshay rightly pointed out its technical aspects of implementing ga4 and describing what exactly uh, ga4 looks like but eventually when we talk about brands it is much more important for brands to look at the uh, marketing aspects or what exactly the value uh, ga4 brings to the uh, to the brand when we try to implement it so uh, let let's assume that uh, a very common use case which can be uh, applied to all the brands out there the uh, use case that i thought of like just for explaining purposes let's assume ki i if 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 i am the brand uh, owner or if i am the marketing manager i definitely need to know ki how many uh, days or does a product take to complete its 100 orders so that i can accordingly manage my inventory and accordingly uh, act upon the marketing spends and everything 
सो वी हैव लाइक वी हैव रिटर्न अ सैम्पल क्वेरी टू चेक कि इफ हाउ मैनी डेज डज अ प्रोडक्ट टेक टू कम्प्लीट इट्स हंड्रेड ऑर्डर्स the data that we have used here is google merchandise stores data which is by default available to uh, you know try and test few things in the big query itself so thing is we have written this query and we just need to click on run over here so that the query is going to get processed and it, it it will take like a couple of seconds or so while it's still running right so once we have uh, like once we run this query we have this data in this format wherein we have item name and the days for 100 orders like uh, this particular item took 81 days to complete its 100 orders and then obviously this is not a very good uh, way to read this data because we have like 751 rows and uh, it 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 will be a tedious task to look at each and every uh, item so what we can do is by clicking here we can link this uh, bigquery table to the data studio which uh, so we just have to simply click here and uh, 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 data studio dashboard will be popped up over here so again like uh, how 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 do we read this data so here i have created just sampled two tables like a dummy thing so uh, here we can see ki uh, days required by each product so if i want to look uh, for a particular product so let's assume if i want to look at uh, the supernatural paper paper lunch sack so it it is taking 51 days to complete 100 orders and accordingly then i can try to predict how uh, and manage my inventory accordingly and also align my uh, spends and align my marketing team's budget on this particular thing then if we look at the other visualization that we can create so if we look at the whole aggregated level uh, of the data that we have so here we we are trying to show ki if we look at this so uh, there are 18 items which took 11 days to complete their 100 orders and that is the maximum count uh, like this is the maximum count if we look at the 4 uh, days difference so there are 17 items which take only 4 days to complete their uh, 100 items then we have uh, 14 such products which take only couple of days to complete their 100 purchases so accordingly we can check at our aggregated level how much uh, days are required by how many uh, how many products to complete their 100 orders yeah so this was this was just a sample deck but obviously when we work on this uh, ga4 data with our extensive and vast canvas of clients uh, we always uh, try to define various uh, problems and we try to answer them through interactive and frequently deliverable dashboards these are excellent insights into understanding you know what are the next best steps what what business decisions are supposed to be taken based on the inventory size based on the product marketing you know strategies and etc i think this could really be beneficial for the and and a whole new way of looking at how can you know how can uh, data analysis or data analytics be taken into consideration you know to make to make the best business decisions from a product perspective So tell us if if we can look at any bracket of industries who can make the most out of um, this tool or this platform, right? Are we looking at a particular niche, or is this applicable to anyone out there? So to answer this question, Vrishali, we don't have any such bracket or cohort of you know channels or sector of clients we could use this for. It's uh, very generic, and uh, there are different businesses which have different use cases which we could make out of GA4, and it's not specific to any client and. whoever client at the moment is using universal analytics can be migrated to ga4 for better insights and uh, for making better decisions got it understood uh, cool thanks so much for connecting on this call i think we are left with better insights than at least i had on ga4 and how can people really how can brands really take a look at this make this upgrade happen for their uh, for their businesses and make sure that they are reaping the best benefits out of the technologies that are updating themselves every day that we are looking at right and uh, all the audiences out there i hope you've enjoyed this conversation and feel a bit more confident to utilize your own ga data in bigquery in making all the integrations uh, we're also providing a full fledged audit and uh, providing also data configuration and implementation services if you need um, and uh, feel free to reach out to us in our comment section or or on our website if you have any queries and uh, subscribe to our channel for more updates until then take care and stay safe thank you so much